Welcome back to Crew Dudes. Ooh, so close. He almost just said three crew dudes. I did. I swear, he almost no, just did. No, I did. Hey, 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 hey. Tomo. It's not that anymore! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody sorry. has misconceptions about sex the first time. It's okay. Right. The first time I Damn ever it. had sex, here's how awkward I am. Ready? The first time I ever had sex, it was with my girlfriend of a year and a half. I had I'd been dating her for a year and a half and had not made love. Whoa. Right. Uh, so, yeah, it was a year and a half. We had been dating. Uh, I I went I went like this. Hey, do you think maybe tonight we can get it on? I and literally she, asked like that, and she, and she said was like, yes. No. <laughs> no, she went like this. She was like, depends. How long are you gonna rub my back? And I was like. Oh, I'll rub your back, baby. As long as you want me to. As long as you can bear it. And she then went, okay, sounds good. Let's Whoa. try. And so, uh, I, I, you know, a fresh born... Oh, oh, he fell down. What was that? <laughs> a fresh born man, I decided, all right, I'm going to get my dick wet oh. tonight for the first time. Oh, sorry. Oh, check this out. Are you ready? Nice. <laughs> I think it only stays like that for a specific amount of time. Yep. That's super cool. <sighs> well, then how do I... Okay, sorry. And then what? So, uh, I I began the act of making coitus. Oh. Ugh. Um, Ugh. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> That's such a weird... Wait. Steve doesn't like the word coitus. Anywho. I began the act of making coitus, starting by kissing her slowly and gently. Yeah. Moving my way all the way up uh, to the to the top of the sternum. I made it all uh -huh. the way to the top of the sternum and stopped right there, because uh, boobies are my favorite. And uh, and <coughs> and so uh, afterwards, uh, like mid mid bang mid mid coitus, uh, I I started performing cunnilingus, and that you know. I learned I have a very, very, very skilled whoa, set. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We, we don't need to get that in depth. Well, you know, they're interested. They want to know now. So I had a, a very skilled... That was fuck. Yeah. Um, that, uh, speaking of fuck. Uh, so, like, I, I, I'm I'm pretty good. I'm not going to toot my own born, but, you know, I'm, I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy and a bit of... I'm a, you could call me a generous lover. Yeah, oh, okay. Generous lover. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, mid-bang, she goes, How'd you do that? And I was like, that's for me to know and for you to find out later. And so, uh, th this is what happened after that. She, she, she began to perform coitus instead of me oh. doing all of it, you know? Oh, I figured it. What the well, fuck? You gotta fall off sometimes. That was like a ghost movement. Yeah. All right. I'm slowly figuring this out. Go ahead. So yeah, basically I made bang. You know, she she switched. She started doing the bang part instead of me doing all the work. Cause most of the time, with girls over 120 pounds, you have to. Or actually, girls over 150 pounds, you have to do all of the work. Yeah. They will lay there for at least for me. At least for me. You, they will lay there, dead fish. The whole entire time. <laughs> That's awful. Well, hey, you know, uh, maybe I'm not picking the right ones. Maybe I am picking the right ones. Nobody knows. Hey, well. But, you know, sometimes, well, you know. Anyways, so that's what happened whenever I first banged. And, uh, you know, it was good for me. It was a good time. I had a lot of pizza. It's good. Yeah. What about you? What did you do on your first whoa, bang? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> I should look at this real quick. I can't tell what's up there. Um, my first time. Okay. Well, that, uh, is kind of an interesting question because I have never kind of, sex. well, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have. Uh, okay. uh, why? He won't grab now. Right. The game's broken. I see it. I'm just going to go find Yoshi now because uh, I, that, it literally won't grab anymore. Yo Mario's like, all right, man, you've, I think you've tried enough. Um, your first time. Yeah. So, I was at like a resort. Um, okay. With that, my family always goes to, or used to always go to. And give me an age. Uh, 
kind of young. I, I don't want to say my age, but um, it was it was pretty young. <laughs> okay, below below sixteen. Just give me. Reference. It was it was below sixteen. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. You're, uh, you're a faster boy than I. Well, I would. Oh, there he is. Okay, we need to find a little pear. A little pear. Oh, there it is. <coughs> the 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 Goomba's pushing it. He's pushing it right what? now. What? He is pushing the pear. Where the that, fuck are you that, even pointing? Right to the right. To the right. That turtle. Oh fuck. Never mind. What the fuck? I are swear you? on my life, that turtle was pushing a pear. Oh, there it is. It's hanging from the tree. It is. No, 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 no. <laughs> um. So you're at a resort. All right. So there was. Uh. Yeah. I was at a resort. The the pool closes at ten. Yeah. yeah. My pool closed at ten at my resort as well. And I. Uh. You had a resort. Well, in Mexico, yeah. Mexico? Timeshare in Mexico. Oh, nice. Um, That's where I performed my second coitus. <laughs> nice. Uh, so yeah, I uh, I was I, w I was at the pool. I was my I was with my brother and my sister, and they're like, "We're gonna go back to the hotel," and I was like, "Okay." So I was there by myself, and this looks fucking awful. Um. I was there by myself, and this girl comes to the pool, and she's like, Hey, do you want to go in the hot tub? And I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> and, oh, shit, that just juked me. Um, and so we go in the hot tub, and we're talking for a little while. And at this point, I am like a brand, I am a brand new boy. I am like fresh out of the little boy factory right and i don't i'm not experienced like at all okay so she's like let's go back to my place and watch some tv and i was like okay <laughs> sure <laughs> just <laughs> super, yes <laughs> super super naive right and uh we we go there okay. and she's like i need to use the bathroom and and she's like in a in a Bikini. She and this girl was actually like very cute. Yeah. Um. Was she like old as shit? Oh. Uh. Was she? Old? No. Uh. I would say maybe like sixteen. Okay. And then uh, she comes out of the bathroom and she is naked. Right. And I was like, oh boy. Right. This is uh. This is something. Yeah. So. Uh, I didn't really want to have sex, but right. I was my little boy body was like, yes, this needs to happen. Um, and then I kind of like we kind of started, and then like I just I kind of ran away, like a little like a little bitch boy pulled out, ran off, basically. So I I don't count that. Um. Okay. Well, you told us about it, so now it's sealed on the internet forever. <laughs> I have yeah. a resort story, because I'm going to interject before you tell your second story. Okay. So, I'm at Mexico. I'm 17, so I'm barely conscious. Um, it's it's legal to drink in Mexico, so I'm at the I'm at like the bar. My mom gave me like 30 bucks in bar money uh, to get drinks and have fun and enjoy myself when I'm 17. That's nice. So... The, the bar is at, like, a sky bar. It's literally all the way up at the top of the resort. You got to take a golf cart all the way up there, and uh, and the golf carts run all night. They have, like, 24-hour golf cart bitch boys. And so, <laughs> yeah, you just call up. There's, like, phones everywhere on the resort. You just call up one of the bitch boys on the golf course. They go, okay, I'll be down there in a minute. You're supposed to give them a tip. I never gave a single one of them a tip. I never did. I didn't have any cash. No Mexican currency. So... Um, basically, I called the golf cart boy. I was like, all right, I need a ride to the sky pool. Take me up there. So we went up to the sky pool. It was me, just me by myself. Uh, <laughs> uh, and all of the towels are folded like swans. And, you know, the toilet paper in the bathroom has got a nice little teacup and all of the shit. There's a mint on my pillow, that kind of stuff. It was a nice, fancy resort. And uh, I make it to the sky pool. Uh, and I, I, you know, throw on my trunks in there, uh, in the toilet, uh, in the sky <laughs> throw pool. Throw right in the toilet. <laughs> right, right in the toilet, in the sky pool, uh, throw on my trunks, 
come out. There's no one at the pool, I think. Okay, cool. It's my turn to enjoy the pool by myself. I go up to the bar, I order a bar drink, uh, and, uh, what did I get? Um, pina colada. You know, I was in Mexico. And so I finished my pina colada in, like, three minutes, because that's how fast I... <laughs> Look at these ugly turtle shells. Um, but yeah, I finished my pina colada really quickly. Uh, and then these two girls come up to the bar. They, like, just got out of their golf cart bitch boy, and they come up to the bar. And they're like, hey! And this is when I had just gotten done with, like, band camp. So I'm looking really buff and nice and strong. Oh, yeah, you're, like, dude. all tan. Yeah, exactly. Tan, d buff and strong, you know, no tummy. I was looking good. And, uh, and, and, you know, long hair. You don't see that in Mexico. Everybody's oh, got yeah. a short buzz cut. Tom was a nice looking dude. Yeah, dude, I've got long hair. Anyways, um... So I, I, I'm sitting at the bar, uh, feeling good about myself. I've just had a drink, and I'm a toddler when it comes to drinking. <laughs> so I, uh, yes. I learned my limits very quickly. One pina colada is enough to send me over the edge. I don't know why she gave me 30 bucks. It ended up being like 650 But uh, <laughs> yeah, I ordered a Corona because that is the only alcohol I can consume and not throw up. Um, and so, yeah, I uh, got a Corona for myself. These two Oops. ladies were probably... 18 and 19. One of them's name yeah. was Kelly. Uh, Kelly was the one I honed in on. I don't know the other one's name. I can't remember it, but I remember this girl's first name was Kelly. So, uh, this one's... Here we go. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a nice, fast, good one. Um, so, me and Kelly are talking, you know, her friend Sabrina or whatever the fuck her Okay, name you is. gotta make it shorter. I'm sorry. This, <laughs> this is a long-ass story. It's been three minutes already. We're, like, over over the time, you know what I'm saying? I still haven't even told my story yet. Yeah, I, I, uh, me and Kelly went up to Kelly's room, right? All right, so once we made it up to Kelly's room, this is what happened. Hey, I gotta go freshen up in the bathroom. Okay, Kelly. Okay. She comes out naked, similar to your story. <laughs> oh, damn. Yes. It was the <laughs> nice. almost exact same thing, except she had, like, she just came out with her top off, basically. Oh. And me being a booby man, I was like... Ray Day, <laughs> good, this is good. good job. This is, we're both we're hope we're both th holding thumbs up right now in the in the crew. I'll tell. Uh, <laughs> yes, we are. I'll tell my story really quick. So, uh, there was a girl that I worked with, and we really liked each other. And she was like, uh, I had a girlfriend at the time, and she said, "Oh man, I really just want to have the sex time with you." And I said, oh, well, I mean, I have a girlfriend, so I don't want to do that. Uh, a month later, after she told me that she did, like, want to do things with me, um, I broke up with my, my girlfriend. And then, uh, uh, we were both closing by ourselves at the shop. And then, yeah, so, uh, we ended up, uh, doing things at the place that where we worked. Where we were employed. I know where you worked. <laughs> I know where this is. Was uh, it in? Was it in North? Or was it here? It was. It was in North Carolina. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, then I don't know her. Yeah. No, you don't know who this is. No, I know her. Like no one knows who this is. I know. Uh, Alan does. Uh, no, he's never met her. Oh. Okay. I don't. I Hunter's never met her. No, I. Yeah. Well, we hey didn't... guys, you learned about our dicks, you learned about <laughs> us getting pregnant for the first time, and you learned how to, you know, catch a Yoshi on the wild flip side, and you know, thank you so much for listening yes. to the crew poop. Look at look at Mario right now, he feels like he's uh, conquering the world, he's got that knee up. He just had sex too. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, I love my, I love putting my penis in places. Thank you, Peach. <coughs> <coughs> Next time on Crew Dudes. We're gonna be fucking... Yeah, we're not going to talk about our dicks anymore. <laughs> Bye.